Melissa G. Wilson here, coming to you from Networlding and Networlding Publishing, books and more that make the world better. Today, I want to talk to you about growing your business with a book. I am absolutely enamored with this concept. Let me tell you a story that will help amplify why you should consider this. So take Bill Furlong. He's a client and a colleague of mine. He's an entrepreneur. He's one of those wonderful entrepreneurs out there who wants to make a big difference in the world. His company is called Square Stack. And his book that I worked on with him and am the publisher on is Appify Your Business. And his website, I hope that you'll check it out, is wonderful for creating an extra protective layer for all your apps and how you can put your apps in this environment and have them uh, more secure so they can't be compromised. Now the book that Bill wrote is now in the process of turning into book two. We are, we're going to look at working on book two in the new year. And what's interesting is that that book use, was very useful as a giveaway. It gave him a lot of credibility with his thought leadership. Recently, he created a partnership or, together with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, for example. So when you have a book that gives you author status, it helps a lot for the whole organization. So let me tell you another story. Let's look at the book that was created by a company that had, it, it creates mats for people so they don't slip and fall. Now, what I did with that book to help the author was set up Google Alerts. A lot of people don't realize the benefit of using Google Alerts. What I discovered was that I was able to get stories for the book around people like Brad Pitt, who had unfortunately caught a flip-flop he, he had on as he was walking into um, a turnstile and cut his foot. So, because he has influence, that story could not only create relevance for readers because they want to know what, you know, what's Brad Pitt in this book for, but it also showed more about the safety of being more careful, maybe not wearing flip-flops, looking at the whole area of slip and falls. There was also, sadly, um, uh, an elderly woman who owned a, a team, a professional, I'm not sure if it was baseball or football team, and sadly when she went out to get her mail and it was icy, she slipped and fell and hit her head and passed away. So that, I'm sure, is a story that when people are reading it, it creates deeper relevance. What happened then for the company was that they could use this book as a tool to grow awareness and as I like to say the four stages, awareness, recognition by people that, that it could apply to them, ownership that they should do something about the, the, the safety in this area, and then finally sharing it with others because then they'll be awakened and more aware and the book can go a long way in helping basically spread that awareness and recognition and ownership and more sharing. So when you're looking at a book as a tool to grow your business, take it seriously. One other thing I'll tell you, there was an organization I worked with and it's, it, it got absorbed by Pricewaterhouse, but I loved working there. It was sublime. It was called Diamond Consulting and they had amazing uh, partners in there, many, many of them from Harvard. 
and I got to go in there and and do simulations and it was a tech company and I got to be for example the head of marketing for our, our Pace bus service here and when I was there I noticed that I had the opportunity to also find out more about the partners and what they were doing to grow the organization. And what I discovered was they had a series of books by different authors and sometimes by the same author, but they were all different. And I seriously believe, greatly believe, that in this world of lots of information constantly bombarding you, that having a series, which is, there's also a, a video here on that, and I'll talk more about series in the future too, that having a series is also helpful as a company. Because if they had done four books, for example, instead of four different books, four books that complemented one another in a series, focusing on different portions of their market, that could help greatly for them amplifying their marketing messages. So when you realize that, how important it is, that's when you can take note and get your, yourself in alignment with how to create something that will grow your business and how a book can do that and how other books that complement the first book can take you even further. This is Melissa G. Wilson from Networlding and Networlding Publishing. If you haven't done so already, please take one moment, hit the subscribe button, share this video with somebody with whom you work, care about, outside of the workplace, and feel free to ask a question. I'm here to help. Look forward to the next time. And here's to your publishing success.